Good morning, Vernon. We're here at the local tech camp program that we have set up in Vernon. Uh, Ms. Davino and I have been enjoying it all morning long, but we wanted you to get a view of it. Yeah, so right now it's happening behind us. We're going to step away in just a minute. This is lunchtime, but it's also called the App Smackdown. So what's happening now is that our school folks are asking people who've been attending the sessions all morning to take 60 seconds and talk about an app that they're really passionate about. So let's just take a quick peek. So this is called the cue ball. So Janet, as you can see, is demonstrating the cue ball, which is a great device for students who are afraid to speak into a microphone. If you want to follow along on Twitter, the hashtag is NJCamp19. There's a lot of information we'll be putting out about the tech camp, I think, in the next couple of weeks. And I'm going to send you pictures of the first uh, morning sessions. There was five sessions, and of course, people from all over the state of New Jersey came. We had a keynote speaker as well. Matt Shea has done a fabulous job Over 22 organizing districts all this. represented. 22 districts yes. represented. And then this afternoon, there'll be five more sessions in which the teachers will um, experience all the great things that are available to them. So our high-tech program is really amazing, and we're getting a sense to show it off. So it's it's been a great day. Yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. More to come. Another piece that happened today is we unveiled this new room. And this is a distance learning room, and it was brought about with a connection with SCCC uh, and their president, John Connolly. What John Connolly did was worked out a heft grant that allowed for technology for distance learning to happen at SCCC, but also at regional schools. Vernon took him up on his offer, and this room is because of that. So we're very excited about this room, and we've unveiled it today. The computers are sitting in the side of boxes and getting ready to go. The, the smart board, of course, is a 21st century um, incredible smart board in which any kind of writing that goes on here goes automatically to any device that the child uh, has. And it has cameras so that we can actually project our teachers to other areas for right. their classes. Yeah. One of the great things about this room is that even though we have concurrent courses here at Vernon Township High School, uh, it was something for the folks at home that I mentioned in our last newsletter and something I'm really right. trying to make our community aware of at the high school. Whether you're a parent of a high school child or of a younger child, you're going to be thinking about college mm -hmm. and that the cost of college is, is quite prohibitive, right? So one of the things that we have here are these wonderful concurrent courses yeah. and this room really allows students to connect virtually through some of the um, items that Dr. McKay just talked about so the children can actually have a virtual learning experience with an SEC professor or somebody else so that they can really make those concurrent courses a little bit more vibrant. So when Matt was demonstrating this room to the professionals that were here for Tech Camp today, he was doing the notes on this board. They were getting the notes directly on their laptop or their tablet or whatever they were using, including their phone. He um, was Skyping at that point with a, a person from uh, England, and he also had the textbooks over here. And when this is going on, this could all be visually seen by any other uh, student who is sitting at SCC or sitting over in Newton at Newton High School. So the idea simply is that our students will be able to sit in this class, take a class at night, get their college credit, or if they're in a concurrent class, they have their concurrent teacher, and the concurrent teacher can say, well, let's see what they're doing over in SCC with the same class, with the same name, with the same credit, and, uh, and they can share ideas. So we're very, very excited about, very uh, about this new class. So it's got its microphones, it's got its cameras, uh, it has its Skype camera, and again, the teacher will become, uh, or allow our students to become global citizens. So this was unveiled during Tech Camp this year, 2019, so we're very excited. Yeah. Okay, so as you saw with um, everything that we just did with the video, that this is an amazing day put together by Mr. Shea, uh, along with Janet DeCenso. I want to show this picture first because Matt really is responsible for uh, Tech Camp and, and all that goes on here. But he's in the new room that we just showed you, and, and he's having a conversation with his mother-in-law. And what he's trying to establish here with this wonderful woman from England is the fact that the world is our oyster with technology. So it, um, that's really what the central message of the day was, whether it was the keynote speaker, Kathy, or what Matt was talking about in his class. And I think most of the people realize that the days of pen pals <laughs> and sending letters back and forth are over. We're now in a new world with our students. 
These are the 22 different school districts that were part of the tech camp, and these are some of the members that came from uh, High Point and other places. But as you can see, uh, schools um, as far away as Freelinghuysen and High Point and uh, Sussex Wantage and Sandus and Walpack came over to talk about all the great things that are going on. I think the district that was the farthest away might have been Alpha uh, down on 202, but uh, or maybe White Township. All right, and of course, these are some of the speakers, um, and they were talking about some of the skill sets that our teachers had and uh, they had, and they were brought in. And uh, this is Mrs. Ufferfeld, and she's talking about Quizlet, and she was uh, giving out little prizes there. You see lollipops, etc. But the idea simply is that there are many tools at the disposal of our teachers in a modern 21st century classroom. Here's um, on the left hand is Mrs. DeCenzo, and she was talking about a new program that's being introduced. Um, and uh, the teachers were talking about the viability of that in the classroom, which it seems like a really good program. And there's our superintendent, and she was actually uh, giving one of the workshops, which seemed to be well attended by other administrators. Hmm. There's Janet DeCenzo assisting you with the keynote address. Uh, the keynote address was given by Kathy Kersenowski, and uh, Kathy came and talked uh, all about the importance of global education uh, and allowing our students to open doors that wouldn't be open to them through technology. Uh, it was a great opening session. And there's Matt talking about the new classroom that we have up at the high school and uh, the importance of um, distance learning and how it can help with our new current concurrent curriculum courses for, through SCC and other places, and also how it can help students who may not be able to be on campus at the time uh, and could take the classes from our high school location. And there's Kathy teaching a class in the afternoon in the area that will be our new student center up at the high school. There's Mr. Gagliostro. He was giving his uh, lecture upstairs in the upstairs library in one of our more technologically advanced areas, um, and talking to the teachers and uh, giving them all sorts of helpful hints that, hints that will help with their classroom. And of course, there's Janet. Uh, at the end of each of the sessions, uh, there was lunch, and then uh, Janet gave, had an app uh, challenge in which teachers would come up and talk about their favorite app. And I think they had one minute in order to talk about the app. Uh, so there was a line of teachers talking about their favorite app and then prizes were given out. Finally, I just wanted to show a couple pictures of our professionals from our district working together in order to improve our district. There can be no better way to talk about the greatness of Vernon than to talk about teachers teaching teachers on their own uh, on days that they have volunteered to come in in the summertime in order to make our system a better system. Kudos to all 111 people that were involved in this project. All right, so it's been a great day here at Tech Camp, as Karen and I were pointing out some of the amazing things that are happening, but all the credit goes to you, Matt Shea, for all your hard work, and you and Janet. So talk about some of the highlights today. Uh, so first of all, it's great that Sussex County and Warren County teachers come out on a day in the summertime. Uh, so we had 22 districts involved today. We had the NJDOE here, uh, Steve Goldman from the from the county. Um, you know, so all sorts of people in education are involved. And again, on a summer day, uh, you know, we spend a lot of time talking about global collaboration, yep. uh, ways to get outside your four your four walls of your classroom, and how to reach out to either other classrooms, experts, authors, uh, guest speakers, virtual field trips. So I, you know, for all of this, for our teachers and the other teachers in the county to bring this back to your classrooms, it's, it's pretty powerful. So. so again, 111 people were here. Yep. Um, and uh, our staff, of course, was involved. Janet DeCenzo did a great job with her program. Ellie did a great job on hers. So our teachers were teaching, our teachers were learning, and our administrators were all here to support this great program. But again, kudos to you, sir. This was an amazing day. Yeah, well, I, and I appreciate everyone. The, the workshops are not put on by vendors or paid professionals. It's it's teachers that want to share some of the things they're doing. Some of our administrators don't want to share what they're doing. So thanks Another. to everyone that participated. Great day.